Hey everybody, here we are in round six of the Vintage Challenge. We are playing against Doomwake, and I'd seen Doomwake the other day uh, playing combo shops. So I would expect them to be on that, or they would be playing Ravagers. I know they tend to audible towards that. So uh, we won the die roll, and you know that said, I, I think this is fairly reasonable uh, matchup for us, but not great either. Uh, obviously, Flusterstorm is not a good card for us, but we do have a really quick um, Tarmogoyf here. Followed that up by Abrupt Decay. Um, this does not stop a fast 2020. We can hit a mirror. I'm going to keep it. I don't know if this is good. If, if, if they have a ley line right off the start, obviously this is just an atrocious keep for us, but um, especially because we've already mulliganed with a fluster storm. That's, of course, presuming this is what they were on. Down to six. So first uh, order of crises is avoided in that we, uh, we did dodge... Um, We did dodge uh, a ley line. I mean, I think we just died if they had a ley line. And they have F6 here, so this could very well just be chops. Wasteland, okay. It's good for me. I mean, we're sure as a hell not beaten down too hard here, but that's okay. They have no permanence, and we have two Tarmogoyfs, and they are going to get bigger here. We need to protect our black source here. Oh, this is not combo shops. Interesting. This is not what I was expecting. Leovold. Um, okay. I have an opportunity to get Leovold into play. I feel like getting rid of Mother of Runes is just so important. And this pumps our Tarmogoyce up. Like Mother of Runes, as you saw, if you if you watch my earlier rounds, like Mother of Runes is a problem. And we've got a very strong clock here, and if they don't tag our, our swamp here. Oh, so good. All right, well, it's a fairly serious clock coming at them here. Okay, so we got game one. Uh, I was not expecting that, I can tell you that much. So this is that same deck. I'm trying to take a look to see if I can find their deck. I, I have not been able to uh, find it really quickly. So very similar to what we did earlier, I, I think that uh, having the extra fatal push and um, uh, Liliana are really strong for us. Uh, what, what don't we really want? I mean, Collector Roof is really mediocre here. I also think Misdirection is probably reasonably poor. Force of Negation is probably not the best, but this could stop a Lotus. This does stop bears. Maybe it's just better than something like a force and negation. I do like misdirection for STP. Okay, I, I think this is what we're going to go with. I don't feel like we necessarily have the luxury to fool around too much. Yeah, let's try this. We 
We're sure not cutting Brazen Borer because if you watch that round three match up against the same deck, you are going to see the potency of Brazen Borer. I mean, obviously Collector Roof is not great here, but love to have a Force of Will up, but we do not. Force of Will has limited uh, limited functionality in this matchup anyways. Um, if they find the Cavernous Holes, it can be a little bit rough for us. Yeah, jeez. Okay. This is turn one Urken. Dolly. That I can live with. That's a strong start for them. Okay, so we're only going to get so much value out of our, our C here. Hopefully they don't have another land. That's so good for us if they don't. Um, and us finding that is super solid. Um, I think I'm going to decay the Thalia here. I don't really want to take the extra damage here. Sure, they could drop a white source and drop another one, but I think that's fine. I'm willing to take that risk. Yeah, see, this is so good for me if that's all they're doing. Okay. That's a pretty big Tarmogoyf you're facing down there. Lotus, look at you hitting my Lotus like that. Um, oh, they've just conceded. Okay. Well, that was much different than the previous match. We'll, we'll take a, an easy win there.